Hi, this is Michael, and I'm here at Winter Nam 2017, and I'm here to show you my stomp light. Stomp light is stage lighting made easy. It's the world's first lighting effect pedal. It's DMX compatible. It is lightweight, three pounds, six ounces, fully collapsible, goes into a gig bag. It also works with a battery pack, so you don't even have to plug it into the wall. It can work anywhere. Burning Man on the back of your buddy's fishing boat, or on the patio or in the lawn or on the 18th green if you're going to be playing some night golf. It's a, a very effective device for creating stage lighting simply. I've got five different settings, if you will, and I'm going to show you those settings now. It's currently in what we call the color wheel mode, and it's cycling through 360 colors. You can speed it up if you want and have it do that or slow it back down. This is the set it and leave it mode for your gig or your, uh, your environment. Just let it cycle through, and when uh, folks are taking social media, grabbing Instagram or Facebook, you're going to look great. The next mode, we'll hit the mode button here with your foot, my finger. Now we're in solid color mode. Solid color mode has red, orange, yellow, blue. There's the blue. There's the green also. <laughs> Indigo, white for loadout so you can bathe the stage, find all your gear, load out safely. And then you actually can create a color and add it to the palette as well. The next mode is sound active, the classic color organ. In this mode, we have a spectrum analyzer. Listens to the sounds, matches them up with colors. There's eight different presets. Uh, frequency ranges start at 60 hertz, go all the way through 5,000. We've matched them up through these different presets. Drummers, there's two modes in there for you. The kickle, 60 hertz, 70 hertz will kick blue. The uh, green will kick in the uh, 500 to 1500 range and then above 2500 you'll get a nice demon red so this really affords the classic sound active this is great for mobile DJs too to create sound response with uh, uh, lighting and it's adjustable in its gain so depending on the loudness how soft things are how loud they are you can adjust that gain and get responsiveness from it where it's winter nam right now where it's a cacophony of frequencies that's why you're seeing all this uh, all these different lights and colors all at once the next mode takes you over to the instrument mode. I'm a guitarist, or if you're a keyboardist, or if you're a DJ, anything that takes an input signal, you come right back in the back there. It's very clean. I run it parallel off my tuner personally, but you can run it in line. And uh, that allows you that same sound activity uh, directly to that input signal. And again, the gain structure can be adjusted with that knob. The fifth mode is the DJ, and we have what I call the DJ, we have the strobe. And the strobe, you can speed up, slow down, whatever you want to do. So those are the five modes. Now, let's say you don't want a strobe. Well, one of the things you can do with our product is simply you can use the user configurations and you can disable. You can disable any of the uh, particular effects by simply holding down, say, the on, off, and the mode when you power up or the mode and the color when you power up. That includes turning one of these into a slave or a client. Those of you that are running DMX and want to put this in your line as a slave, you can. Or if you have multiple ones of these and you and a partner want to take turns being the controller for your set, your first set, I'll do it. Second set, he'll do it. You can take turns and have one be the slave and one be the, uh, the controller. This also will work with uh, most of your DMX 512 systems out there as a slave. User configs are great. So the only other thing I'll, add, I'll let you know is, again, we can use a battery to pack this. We have lithium-ion lithium battery packs the last seven hours, so it affords you ultimate portability. It's built like a tank. This is uh, powder-coated uh, aluminum. Uh, there's no real plastic on here except our diffuser, which softens the light. It's modular. If something's damaged. These, uh, these Allen wrenches can be quickly removed. This uh, array can be replaced. These are uh, very powerful LED lights and uh, they're gonna se provide service for a long time, 50,000 hours, they're Cree XL LEDs. So uh, they're really the flagship of our particular product. We, uh, we love having those in there and we're thankful for Cree for supplying us. So that really is the Stoplight Pro DMX. It comes in white as well as black. We have a couple other products which are the PAL, which is our slave, and of course our power bank. Um, with that said, I feel very honored today uh, to be seated next to one of the great guitar players, singer-songwriter, producer, and also 
uh, the inventor of a remarkable effect pedal, the uh, wah pedal. His name is Del Tasher, and I'm going to ask Del uh, a few questions here from one innovator to another, one very successful innovator to one just starting out. How did you get started with your invention of the wah pedal, sir? It was a necessity that I was looking for. When I was five years old, I used to listen to George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue and the wah-wah trumpet and the wah-wah trombone. And then I got to really give credit to Lawrence Welk when I appeared on his show. I said, wow, if I could only my guitar sound like uh, the wah-wah trumpets, I would love to do it. But when I joined the Vox Amplophonic Orchestra, a very good friend of mine uh, converted the tube amplifier to solid state name is Brad Plunkett and Brad converted it to a transistor and put a little variable knob in the amplifier and I said you know what when I turn that knob I can go wah can we put that into a pedal yes you could so I said great that's what I want to do so they handed me the, the pedal and this is me in my garage and I'm thinking someday this might be really famous and this is me in my garage in the Hollywood Hills in 1967 and I really was uh, knew it was going to be a great idea and then when I played it for James Brown he said but Dell why do you want the guitar to go wah it doesn't make any sense so I went to everybody they said why do you want the guitar to go wah except one guy came up to me he said hey kid give me your phone number I'm gonna hire you from Universal Pictures and we're gonna have you in the movies yeah sure okay Universal called me the next day Hey, can you play for Vic Mizzy, who wrote The Adams Family and Green Acres? I said, yeah, but they, you have to bring your wah-wah pedal. Uh, no problem, I'll do that. So from then on, I was good friends, lifetime friends with Vic Mizzy. And actually, I owe credit to Lawrence Welk, George Gershwin, and Vic Mizzy for helping me have a reason to develop the wah-wah pedal for the guitar, not the trumpet, but for the guitar. But anyway, that's the story. I have to ask you from one, a young innovator bringing forward a highly disruptive product, uh, a lighting effect pedal. It's, I'm finding a lot of people are, are skeptical, uh, confused. Um, did you find that when you brought forward your product that, that people were, um, what were they just right away out the gate happy and excited about it or did you find it to be a challenge at times to get people to try it and, and believe in it? It was a real challenge. The problem with being ahead of your time is that people don't understand what you have there. And so I really had to work very hard to find people that would understand. And uh, the year before, 1967, I played with Frank Zappa's band. So actually I was working with Gene Autry's TV show, which starts with the letter A. And I worked with Ray Conniff's big band with the letter C. And then I worked with uh, 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 Lawrence Welk on his TV show, go to delcasher.com and you can see it. And then I ended up with Frank Zappa. And that's where I found Frank was the guy who really understood what I was doing with the wah pedal. So we really had a great time with it and I gave Frank a wah pedal. And I said, by the way, Frank, when you go to New York and you, Jimi Hendrix drops it, tell him to get a pedal. You need a wah pedal because it's really the future sound. And he did. I'm very happy. Well, I'm so thankful, Dell, that you invented it. It was my very first effect pedal, and I still remember my bike ride all of about 25 miles to a, a small dealer who had one and how excited I was to bring it home and plug it into my, at that time, my little Fender amp with my Strat and how just I felt like a rock star and how it just changed for me everything. It was uh, and still is my favorite effect pedal, almost my favorite effect pedal now that I've invented one. But uh, thank you. Thank you for all the uh, empowering all the many artists in their art through your invention. Let me just say that I really wanted the guitar to have a voice. And you were the one of the people who realized this gave you a voice for the guitar. So whether you sang or not, it gave you an expression. So I'm glad you like it. Thank you very, very much. And welcome to everybody out there in TV land. And love to hear from you. Dellcasher.com and I uh, want to thank you very much for invite, inviting me to see your wonderful invention here. It's, the people are going to love it. And thank my friend TJ for bringing and introducing me to, to Dell. That was very thoughtful. It's a long walk down here into the dungeon at Winter Nam 2017 in Hall E. 
Those of you that are interested in checking out Stomplight, it's really easy, man. Just go to stomplight.com. That's stomp like you stomp on a, on a bug and light like you light up my life. Stomplight.com. And uh, send your email uh, questions to me. I, I respond to all of them. And thank you for uh, your time. It's Michael Ahern with Stomplight at Winter Nam 2017. Hey, this is TJ McGann, and I'm so grateful to bring these two great innovators together at Winter Nam 2017. Hello, it's great here to be at Nam, and I'm it's a really honored to be talking to everybody out there. I hope that you enjoy what we were talking about, and uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you. And you're watching the Musician Network at Winter Nam 2017. Stay tuned.